Let's see if I can go through the four essential things you need to know with a problem that contains a logarithm. <clears throat> Later on, I'll tell you why you need a logarithm. For right now, let's just look at four things that you need to solve about pretty much any logarithmic equation. First off, what a logarithm is. Um, logarithms are the opposite of exponents. So if you uh, set up, so here's a logarithm. Um, this is called the base. You know, n and x are called something. It really doesn't matter. This is just a basic video. So, <clears throat> but here's the thing. I said logarithms and um, exponents are inverses of each other. So b to the x equals n is how you convert a logarithm to an exponent. So you could reverse that. And let's say you had uh, 2 to the 5th equals 32. Okay, we know that to be true. So that would be log base 2 of 32 equals, uh, equals 5. So the logarithm actually produces the exponent. Okay? Your calculator is in base 10, or the common logarithm, and so there is no base number. I'm going to put a little base 10, though, so we can keep track of it. So we could try this out with log base 10 of 1,000. Well, log base 10 of 1,000 is 3, because 10 to the third equals 1,000. Okay, so that's number one. Number two thing you need to know is that any time you add logarithms, oh, any time you add logarithms, you multiply that number inside. So m times n. So if you had the common logarithm of 5 plus the common logarithm of 3, that would be the common logarithm of 15. Okay? If you think about it, um, the exponent rule, when you multiply exponents, you add the exponents. So it comes from the same thing. So let's say you had log b of m minus log b of n. Okay, that is log base b of m divided by n. It could be com combined into one logarithm. So if you had log, the common log of 20 minus the common log of 2, that would be the same as the common log of 10. Right. So there's the second thing you need to know, or third thing you need to know, excuse me. So here, recapping, we've got the first thing, number one. What happens if you add them? That's number two. And the third, and probably the most, or the fourth, and the probably most important thing you need to know with a logarithm is if you're given any logarithm, and you have an exponent with this number right here, that can go out front. Oh, I didn't mean to use a B. So let's, let's call it an X. Okay, this baby, when you have this, this baby pops out front. So X log B of N would be what that would be. So in other words, if you had um, log the common log of 10 squared. Okay, you could really write that as 2 times the log of 10, which, you know, um, would be 2 as a final answer. I mean, you could finally get the answer there. So I'm sorry there's not much understanding there. It's just if you had to boil it down and you're to the point with logarithms that, hey, just tell me the, the basics. So what's the only thing I need to know? All you really need to know are those four things, and you can almost get through any part of logarithms. Um, you can work your way through it with those four things. So what a logarithm is, number one, oops, sorry. Number one, what a logarithm is. Number two, adding logarithms and how you can simplify it down to one logarithm. Number three, bless and ugly number three, um, when you subtract logarithms, you can divide these numbers. And finally, the most important one, um, if you have an exponent, it pops out to the front, or vice versa. So I hope this helps. In a second, in the next video, I'll show you why you need law.